Now we will begin installing the driver for the MDTX4. When first booting up the computer, you'll notice that the video signal is split between two monitors. The second pair of monitors will come up so as soon as the driver is installed. Once your computer is booted and logged in, go ahead and insert the Galaxy graphics card driver installation disk. If your computer is set to autoplay, then the installation menu should automatically appear. Otherwise, navigate to the CD and double click on setup. From the setup menu, click on the Forceware driver button and follow the on screen instructions. It's very important that you choose the appropriate drivers for your computer. Once the installation has begun, the first screen will be the software license agreement. Go ahead and click on Agree. On the next screen, choose the Express install, and for those advanced users, you can select Custom and choose what and where the software will go and, and go ahead and install at. After clicking Next, the screen will ask you uh, if you would like the software to search and install updates after the installation is complete. Go ahead and make sure the checkbox is marked and then click on Next. Once the software has finished installing, the system will go ahead and ask you to reboot. Once you reboot and log in, you will notice that the screen resolution will be significantly better. The driver will automatically select the maximum native resolution for your monitors and span one screen between two monitors. Now to manage your windows, you will need to go ahead and install the WinSplit Revolution software onto your machine. Insert the WinSplit Revolution CD into your machine and begin the setup. Select the classic installation. Once installed, the system will ask if you want WinSplit Revolution to start when Windows starts. Make sure that checkbox is marked and also check off Run Now. Once installed and running, the WinSplit Revolution icon will appear on your taskbar. It will look like a blue monitor. When you right click on the WinSplit Revolution icon, a menu will appear. You'll see Launch the Windows, Options, Layout Settings, Hotkey Settings. The hotkey settings will allow you to assign a key from your keyboard to manage the windows. Layout settings will allow you to arrange windows on your monitor. From the layout options, you can specify how the windows will be arranged in the monitors. Right-click anywhere on your desktop and select Screen Resolution from the pop-up menu. From here, you'll see two monitors laid out in windows. This will allow you to arrange the monitors however you'd like, whether you want to see it side-by-side -side or stacked. At the bottom, you'll see multiple displays drop down. This will give you the option to either duplicate your desktop or to expand it. When you click on Duplicate dis Displays, this will just mirror your desktop to the other two monitors as you can see here. By selecting Extend Your Displays, this will allow to you to utilize each monitor separately, as you can see by dragging a window across the four displays. I've selected a different background to make viewing easier. The Galaxy MDTX4 is designed for a power business user and not for gaming. The MDTX4 will help a user become more productive by keeping more information open and available on the screens. Applications that a power user will need open all the time would be email, internet browser, an industry specific application, and access to network resources. When the WinSplit Revolution software is running, a virtual direction pad will appear on your screen. This will allow you to control how a window is displayed on your monitors. To control a window with the WinSplit software, first select the window you are wanting to control, and if you were to click on the center button, it would expand the window across one pair of monitors to full screen. Think of the displays as a grid. If you clicked on the upper right arrow, it would move your window to the upper right hand side of the second monitor. If you hit the right arrow, it would make it full screen on the second monitor. Left arrow will bring uh, the window full screen, first monitor. Upper left arrow, lower, lower left arrow, lower right arrow, and down arrow. Now I'll show the same control on Firefox on the second pair of displays. First click on Firefox's window. The right arrow will bring Firefox full screen on the right monitor of the second pair of monitors, or monitor number four. 
Left arrow will bring full screen on the left monitor or monitor number three. And the middle button would bring it full screen on monitors three and four. I hope this install video will help many of you get the most out of your Galaxy MDTX4 graphics card. Thanks for watching.